<clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is our fourth hearing, and uh, each time we conduct a committee hearing, we are being lied to, no, at least once. We're being lied to each time by our resource persons. To prove my point, Mr. Chairman, um, first I'd like to ask, uh, again, you know, this was asked uh, by, I think, si Santo Tolentino last time, you know. Tanungin ko lang si Ramoncito, si Chito Roque. Tanungin kita ulit, alam mo ba kung saan nakatira si na Yolanda? Yung huli ko, sir, na... Hindi, sagot lang. Alam mo ba kung saan siya nakatira? Yes, sir. Alam mo? Eh bakit ang sagot mo nung tinanong ka ni Senator Tolentino, eto ah, page 200, September 5, 11.09 p.m. Siguro inaanto ka na. Senator Tolentino, pero ang sabi kanina ni Mrs. Yoli doon sa compound, yung minimum compound ay magkakalapit lang ang, ang inyong bahay o bahay ninyo. Tama po ba yun? Tatanungin ko si Mrs. Yoli, sabi ni ni uh, uh, Ms. Ms. Camillion, opo sir. Tapos ikaw naman ang tinanong. So lumipas ang ilang araw, hinahanap-hanap nyo, palagay ko, hindi naman kalayuan yung tahanan ninyo doon sa compound. Hindi nyo nakita. Hindi po, Your Honor, at saka hindi ko pa alam ang bahay niya. Ito. You were under oath when you testified? Yes, Your Honor. Parang oh. nalito lang ako ang baka lumipat na, Your Honor. That's a very, Closer, basic, microphone, that's a very basic information for you to forget. Ha? Alam mo, marami kami imbisigador dito. Yung basic na tanong na gano'n, hindi ka pwede makalimot eh. Tinanong ka, alam mo ba yung bahay? Sabi mo, hindi. And now you're changing your statement because I'm going to confront you with the statement of uh, Chief, uh, Chief Inspector Bansil. Because I saw her being interviewed by yeah. media. Sinabi niya, oh, eh, palabas na lang natin. Sige. Pantay din naman kami ng konti minuto lang din, dumating na si Chito Roque. Pababa pa lang siya ng hagdana ng bahay ni doon sa entrance ng bahay nila. Okay. Okay. Uh, nagsabi siya na, oh, kumusta? Sabi niya, oh, Yoli, kumusta? So, nagulat ako, magkakilala pala sila ni Chito Roque. Sabi ko sa babae, eh, tsaka kay Chito, eh, nagpapapadrino pa to, eh, magkakilala naman pala kayo. Ang sagot ni Chito Roque, oo naman, matagal ko yan naging kapitbahay. Oh. Ayun, Chito. So, kailan ka nagsinungaling, nagsinungaling noong Huwebes o ngayon? Hindi po ako nagsisinungaling. Eh, hindi ka pa rin, eh, nagsisinungaling ka pa ulit. Dali, sabi mo, hindi ka pa rin nagsisinungaling. Eh, magkaiba na nga yung statement mo. Your Honor, uh, kasi po, ang pagkakaalam po nitong huli, Your Honor, nahandun po siya sa may adjacent street namin. Nitong August lang, or before to, Nandun siya sa, ano, Your Honor, uh, street pababa ng gate 1. So, tanungin Yung kita ulit. Lang sa akin, Your tanungin Honor. kita ulit. Alam mo ba na magkapitbahay kayo ni Yoli, matagal na ba kayo magkakilala? Hindi po kami magkakilala talaga. Bro. Pero alam mo kung saan ang bahay nila? Nabanggit po, Your Honor, doon sa isang street nga rin malapit sa amin. Hindi uh, nagsisinungaling ka na naman. Anyway, moving on, Mr. Chairman, I would like to ask... Uh, uh, Chief Superintendent Marquez, last time you testified, ang sabi ninyo, contraband number one, o yung number one contraband sa NBP, cellphone. Yes, Your Honor. So, anong parusa pagka nakuha na ng cellphone? Uh, there's a specific um, table of penalties, Your Honor, for first offense. Which is, specifically, um, possession ng cellphone. Your, Your Honor, can I... Your Honor, hindi kasi namin naging trabaho yan sa policy making kami, Sir Sir Onya. But you were the one who testified na yes, number sir. one contraband is yes, the mobile sir. phone. Yes, sir. But, but I don't want to give an accurate uh, answer, so, Your Honor. So, sino yung sasagot? Uh, from, the op from the operations, perhaps, sir, or your, from the Board of Discipline. 
Wala dito yung tao. Is there anybody from operations here? Sige, no, si, overseer, sir, may, may know. These are the daily supervisors of uh, the PDLs. Vivo? Sino si Vivo? Who can answer? And how strict are you when it comes to uh, possession or entry of mobile phones inside the corrections uh, facilities? Your Honor, meron po kami yung board, disip, uh, board of Discipline. Uh, pagdating po sa mga gano'ng infractions ng prison rules and regulations, dumadaan po sa BOD. Hindi, yung, yung pag-prevent ng uh, pasok ng cellphone o gamit, how strict are you? Uh, sobrang strict po, uh, katulad po ng... How sobra is sobra? Uh, kasi po, may counterpart na po kami ngayon ng SAP. Uh, sila po kasi yung nasa gate ngayon eh, na naka... When was the last talaga. time that you checked if there were uh, cell phones inside the facilities? Oh, diretso na. Inside building 14, maximum, uh, yung maximum security building. Siguro dyan, mas mahigpit dyan. Kasi ah, maximum security. Kailan ah, kayo huli nag-check? Uh, your Honor, uh, for information po, ang SAP po ang... Hindi. Tanong ko, kailan, dapat alam mo nangyayari, tagaroon ka sa loob eh. Huwag mo na ituro yung SAP. Hindi, uh, your Kailan Honor, kayo po, huling nag-check? Hindi po kami nakakalapit sa Building 14, Your Honor. But your, you know, uh, organic personnel ka doon. You should know what's happening inside the... Kasi ikaw tinuro eh. Overseer, sabi mo napaka-stricto. So ang tanong ko, how strict? Sabi mo, sobrang stricto. Ang tanong ko, kailan kayo huli nag... Oh, kera, hindi kayo. Kailan huling nagkaroon ng inspeksyon para maghanap ng mga kontrabando sa loob ng specific na rin, Building 14? Your Honor, hindi ko po alam. Kasi I'll tell you, po, last August. Uh, narinig ko lang po kasi po uh, sa maximum po ako. Kasi yung Building 14 po, outside po ng maximum. Naka... Anyway, last August, nagkaroon ng uh, raid. Sabihin natin raid. And I, I see uh, Attorney Santos uh, nodding his head. So I suppose may ideas siya. Kindly... Uh, inform the committee, kailan yung huling uh, raid na nakakuha kayo ng apat, di ba? Apat na cellphone? Yes, sir. Hindi ko po alam ang exact date, pero nag-date yeah, sometime last month. Yes, sir. Okay. Sige. Please, give us uh, additional information. So, nakakuha ng apat na cellphone, ano ba? Apat Sorry, lang? Sorry, sir, pero hindi well, ko po nabasa yung report, di po duman sa office ko. Pero alam mong apat na cellphone ang nakuha? May nakuha raw pong cellphone. Kani-kanino? Hindi ko po alam. Hindi ko rin po alam kung kanino. Kasi po, well, sabihin ko sa iyo, yung isa doon kay Raymond Dominguez. Yes, sir. Nandun sa maximum uh, security facility. Ayun yung car napping, ha? Car napping? Uh, ito yung sumunog doon sa, pumatay doon sa anak ni PICC uh, uh, Commissioner Evangelista. Tama ba? And can you identify kung ito yung... Sino ba si Raymond dyan? Uh, uh, I am the president now ng VACC, not the chairman. Uh, yes, he's the one and the same person. Uh, uh, on the right is Raymond Dominguez. Uh, he is included in my uh, criminal complaint. Kasama po siya sa information for, uh, for the murder of my son. Uh, a case of carnapping. Yeah. Uh, complex crime because nagkaroon ng violence. Then, after about few days, may... Uh, Anong ka na-convict na ito? Uh, he was convicted for a different case. No? Ito, Similar... qualified theft with uh, homicide ba? Tawag doon pag complex? O carnapping with homicide? Uh, uh, carnapping uh, with homicide. Wala kasi yung batas na carnapping with Wala nga, uh, oh, murder. Okay. Mm. So, pag may act of violence in the process na ginagawa yung krimen, napatay, so that uh, that is not So he's now detained in the maximum security building sa building 14. Uh, again you're He's wrong. now there in uh, building 14. Uh, as far as I know, he is in uh, na nasa building 14. And as a matter of fact, one of the mobile phones that was confiscated belonged to him. Uh, that is correct. Yeah. So sinabi kasi nila contraband number 1 yung mobile phone and yet the PDLs, especially, or even those detained in the maximum security facility, openly use their mobile phones. And I'll show it to you because sinabi kong openly, kasi nagpo-post sa Facebook eh. Look, wala nang tinatago because, you know, so blatantly, they're announcing to the whole world because Facebook is not only within the limits of the uh, of Philippine jurisdiction, no? 
maski yung look, I miss you. It's fairly recent, huh? 15 November 2017. Yeah. So, is this a kind of, you know, uh, strict uh, strictness in the policy uh, of containing uh, the entry or preventing the entry of contraband items, especially cell phones, mobile phones. Ayan, no? There are other prisoners who openly post uh, on Facebook. Yung iba, high profile cases, I'm telling you. And I don't think, I, have, don't, I don't have the permission from the Senate President if I could uh, present uh, other evidence na talagang open masyado. Uh, Mr. Evangelista, ano po ba ang pagkaalam nyo rito sa... Okay. Ang pagkaalam ko What's po... What's the background behind itong mga pictures nito? Kasi sinasabi nga natin, di ba? A picture paints a thousand words. That is correct. So, kasi that. meron dito mga ibang mga postings eh. Okay. Kindly walk us through if you have the knowledge, please. Uh, sige po. Uh, kanina, earlier, um, may presentation doon yung may skull, may bungo. Um, according to my source, because ang VECC uh, is always open for uh, information, uh, high, uh, no, no, uh, uh, profile information. Diyan po sa video na yan, makikita nyo, na merong uh, 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 reconstructive surgery being done. So according to my source, nag-text siya. Ang, ang, merong isang incident doon na isang uh, girlfriend ni Raymond Dominguez was shot inside the New Believed Prison. Hindi ito lumabas sa media. So according then... Uh, When was this? Uh, this you know. was like... Uh, Uh, 2017 uh, during the time of Secretary Aguirre. So um, I texted Chief PNP uh, De La Rosa at uh, sinabi ko meron na source na meron isang isidente doon binarel. So sinagot po ako ni Senator uh, uh, no, uh, De La Rosa and kung nandito po siya, he can confirm this. Inamin po niya ito po. According to Bucor officials, the girlfriend was shot somewhere in the village inside Bucor Reservation, but not inside prison compounds. Uh, by, Senator De La Rosa at the time some, was Chief PNP or Chief Bucor? Uh, uh, Chief Bucor. Chief Bucor. Uh, opo. And then uh, somebody believed to be hired by one Raymond Dominguez. So, um, kinonfirm po niya yun, no? So, ito po, nabarib dito yung girlfriend... Uh, luckily, nabuhay siya. So after, he ha she has to go spend like 30 million going to Korea, a very expensive hospital, to reconstruct yung surgery. Ibalik sa dati. Um, then, may mga photos din na nag -ano sa akin because of the Facebook. Iyan po yung mga photos. So ano ba ang ibig sabihin nito? Somebody who is committed sa new building 14 can provide The, uh, medical attention all the way to Korea. Nagpunta po ako sa NSA uh, and uh, Secretary June Esperon can, uh, no, no, you can easily call them uh, and I'm calling the attention also of Aaron Aquino. Nag-compare kami. Ang laki-laki pala, yung hospital na yan, you'll be spending a lot of money going there uh, just to have your uh, yeah. reconstruction. Luckily, nabuhay po. Uh, kasi yung Korea... Well known yan pagdating sa reconstruction. Yeah, reconstruction. Ng, yeah. ano. so, Maraming nagpupunta ron para magpa-reconstruct maski walang diferensya. Uh, uh, yeah, opo. So ang ibig sabihin po dito, yung proliferation ng illegal drugs and other major activities is still there. It's happening at masama man ng ano ko, no? uh, compromise po ang Building 14. Yeah. As merong source ng sinasabi na merong apat na cellphone na kuha inside building 14. Paano nakakapasok kindly, yun? Kindly check yung mga naiwan kasi wala na si Yusek Nick doon. Ano? Uh, Maria Fe Marquez and whoever who are still in uh, the Bureau of Corrections. Can you furnish the committee a copy of the report saying that four mobile phones 
were confiscated. Very recently, last month lang ito. And kung kanikanino yung mga cellphones. Can you call uh, Bucor now and uh, provide the committee the uh, incident report? Sige, please continue, uh, Mr. Banglista. Sige, uh, tuloy. Uh, anyway, uh, so yung proliferation ng illegal drugs and other activities from prostitution. From mobile phones to illegal drugs to firearms. Uh, Nandiyan lahat. Uh, yeah. Probable, pero hindi ko na-encounter yung firearms. But no, then, pero naparil sa loob ng facility ng Montilupa eh. Ah, yeah, oo. Oh, oh. uh, in really relation to that, tama po kayo. So, ang mabibigat po, um, according to PIDEA Director, itong mga ganito klaseng cellphone, ang, ang ano nito, maipasok mo lang to, is about 2 million to 2.5. Yung mga 2G, 3G, that's about 500 to 700,000. At uh, nag-uusap kami nila Aaron uh, Aquino na um, ang tanong ko, eh kung ganun, bakit hindi nyo walang action? Hindi nyo uh, inaano? Eh ang sabi nila, yung PIDEA, may office daw doon, way back, biglang tinanggal. So it's all up to you kung anong ibig sabihin nyo, no? bakit tinanggal. So, so sana na doon yung ano, no? interagency cooperation. Simply because my PIDEA is tasked to address yung proliferation ng illegal drugs. You know, um, um, I think the, the war on drugs of the president uh, is not, will fail at the end of the day simply because sinasabi natin ng lahat ng intelligence community dito, 80% of illegal drugs is emanating inside the new Bilibid prison. Yeah. And that was told to me by no less than Gerald Magalong at the time because they, he conducted the raid inside Montilupa upon instruction of Senator, uh, then Secretary De Lima, and he told me na talagang yung direction, yung instruction na mga movement and drugs outside the National Believe or anywhere in the country, doon ang control sa loob. And they can only do that with, by using mobile phones kasi wala silang communication except mobile phones. And I heard na gumagasos tayo para sa jammer, di ba? Tama po yun. Oh, meron naman silang uh, tawag doon. Kasi walang katapusan naman yung technology. Eh. Pagka meron kang uh, scrambler, meron kang jammer. Pagka meron kang, uh, meron namang descrambler. So, padamihan na lang ng pera ang labanan. And I also receive, are you through or you, you want to? Sige, please. And, and also okay. your honor, no? As a suggestion, no? Uh, kasi napakit po yung mga jammers, lahat, ganyan. Uh, according to my source, yung mga jammers na yan, pinapatayan, may oras. Pagpatay niyan, lahat sila gamitan. And who controls the jammers? Uh, uh, eh, yun, uh, it is for them to uh, answer that. Tony no? Santos, sino may control ng... So lahat may kita, pati yung, pati yung technician. Ta tama po yun. So I suggest, may uh, 24 7 CCTV nakafocus doon sa jammer na yun. Uh, masisira rin yung CCTV. Balamang, banggain nyo poste sa Miral, na Miral ko, brown out. Then I suggest magkaroon ng ano, uh, backup supply ng power. So in, uh, in that way, alam mo yung mga ganong mga uh, remedies dapat. Kasi ito embedded to eh. Yung culture of corruption, they do it with impunity. Kaya nga yung war on drugs of the president, which is very close to his heart, baka hindi manalo eh. Kasi 80%, address mo yung proliferation ng illegal drugs sa New Believe It Prison, then 80% we are winning the war against the drugs. Yeah. Itong mga personalities nito, mga convicted to. Kaya kami po, ako po ang tinatayuan ko, thousands of victims of heinous crime. From day one, tinayuan namin yan. Outside of the case of my son, lumaban po ako. Ang threats ko dito, kaliwat kanan. From BID, immigration, alam po nyo yan. Um, mga extortion ako ano lahat lumaban na ako kasi at the end of the day anyway I'm 63 now uh, kami I'm willing to take the bullet just to see victims of injustice get their day in court alam po nyo ang team song namin nung linilibing si uh, Lauro Bisconde The Impossible Dream now for the record pag ako linilibing ang gusto kong tugtugin nyo yung The Unreachable Star ang hirap po ng laban para kang tumutulay sa alambre just to well, get that your, your point is, nanalo na kayo sa korte, nakonvict na nga, and yet, they live like 
kings inside the prison facilities. Correct. Ang so court justice has not been rendered because after all the, you know, uh, the, the, the difficulties in uh, having these uh, uh, suspects convicted eventually or finally, pagdating naman sa muntun lupa, masarap pa rin ang buhay. Uh, yeah, uh, Your Honor, that's the main reason why kami ay, we are crying to restore the death penalty. Isang reason yung GCTA system congestion I was talking to earlier. Kasi yung system does not create corruption, di ba? It's people who uh, create corruption hanggang maging systemic na. Andiyan na sa system, mahirap nang awatin. And we also receive reports na marami rin nagsisyabo doon sa loob ng uh, detention facilities, di ba? Nagjajaming. And I'd like to ask uh, Attorney Santos, have you ever used uh, drugs, Attorney? Yes, sir. Have you ever used drugs? No, sir. Not uh, once in your lifetime? No, sir. Uh, Baka makakuha kami ng ebidensya. Pakita ko, baka lying ka na naman. No, sir. I'm going to get that evidence, ha? Yes, sir. I almost have it. I'm telling you. Because there were reports that you were jamming with the drug lords, Chinese drug lords inside Building 14. Sir, matagal po akong keeper sa loob nung maximum. Anyway, I'm just telling you. No, you're under oath. Yes, sir. And I'm telling you that. Yes, sir. Uh, anyway, Mr. Chairman, yun lang yung points na I'd like to to raise, and uh, maybe after after our lunch break, we can uh, present the witness of the the Senate president. Of course, the Senate witness for that matter, because we issued. I understand the committee has already issued a subpoena. And we're expecting uh, somebody to. Yeah. So if you're having a lunch break, then I will suspend. But if there, yeah, tuloy na lang. Yeah. So, Chief Inspector Bansil, matagal na magkakilala si Chito Roque at saka si Yoli Camilon. Yes, Your Honor. Ayun po sa narinig ko. Sige nga. Yes, Your Honor. Ayaw po sa narinig ko. Kanino mo narinig? Sa kanila pong dalawa. Pati kay Chito Roque. Yes, Your Honor. Na sinabi niya sa'yo, matagal na sila magkakilala. Opo. Ito po yung saktong words. Oo naman. Matagal kami naging magkapitbahay niyan. Uh, Miss Camilon, kasi baka hindi narinig ni, ni uh, Chief Inspector Bansil yung testimony niyo rito nakaraan. Ang sabi niyo, Nandun kayo sa loob, lumapit sa inyo si uh, Chief Inspector Bansil, hindi ba? Tama. Are you senior inspector? Senior inspector, captain. Okay. Cap Tama yes, sir. po, sir. Sige, paki for her uh, information and for uh, to remind the members of this committee kasi gabi na kayo nag-testify. Sige, paki na rin niyo uli. Nung time po na dumalaw ako dun sa asawa ko, uh, February yun po, Malapit lang kasi yung opisina ni Ma'am Mabel doon sa pinagtatambayan namin. Pag may mga dalaw po na nakatayo, uh, nakaupo doon, lumalapit po sila, Ma'am Bansil. Actually po... Uh, teka, liwanagin. Hindi kayo lumapit sa kanya. Siya ang lumapit sa inyo. Opo, sir. Sige. Lumapit po siya sa amin. Siya po ang una kong nakilala bago po kay Sir Roque. Kaya sa loob pa lang po, parang nagkakaroon na po kami ng friendly na usapan doon kasi time to time nga na mayroon mga dalaw doon, lumalapit si Ma'am Bansil. Actually, talagang she has always a for merienda sa amin. Kaya parang naging close kami. At ano eksaktong pagkasabi niya sa inyo nung unang lumapit siya sa inyo? Ang sabi po niya sa akin... Kung gusto ko daw po mapaikse yung sentence ng asawa ko, may paraan naman daw po. Sige, tuloy lang. Ayun po, uh, sabi niya meron paraan. So nagkasundo po kami na pinapalo up na kasi ako din ni Mamot na excuse me, Ma'am Boday dun sa pinagsa pinagkasunduan na presyo kung kailan ko ma-reach yun. 
Uh, nagkaroon po ako ng partial na pera na 10,000. Sinabi nila, okay naman daw po yun na ipauna ko na lang. We're now checking the transcript. If you are testifying uh, accurately as you testified the last time. Opo. Because that is the test of credibility. Opo. Kasi pagka, di ba, when you lie, even if you lie repeatedly, if you ask the same question over and over again, magkakamali ka. Opo. Yeah. Kaya we're checking at our records now. So, sige, tuloy nyo yung kwento nyo. Yung po, nung nire ko po po yung pera na 50,000, February, nakita ko na po sa cellphone ko, February 20, 21, February 22, Talaga pong regular yung palo up ni Ma'am Boday sa akin para dun sa pera. And then sinet up na po nila kung saan po kami makikita at kung anong oras. Nung na find out po nila na talagang on hand ko is 10,000, sinabi nga nila, mas okay na yon nagkita po kami ni Ma'am Mabel sa Bulaluhan. Malapit po dun sa Golaten, may restaurant dun, dun po kami nakita. Before lunch po yung time na yon Uh, Chito, Sub Sergeant Roque, how well do you know Yoli Camilon? How well do you know her? Hindi mo kilala? Noon lang kayo nakita yung araw na yon? Yes, yes sir. Pero alam mo magkapitbahay kayo? Sa ano niya rin po. At never kayo nakita pa before that night that she visited your house, your quarters, I suppose, to deliver the 10,000 pesos that you said you accepted Uh, and then you returned uh, the same to her after a few days. Di ba yun testimony mo eh? So how well do you know her? No, yun lang. Wala, yun lang. Eh kung i-remind kita your, na... Your Honor, sige. nakikita ko po sila na nakikita ko sila magkakasama. Pero wala kayong communication. Wala. Noon lang gabi kayo na yun na nagka... Yes. So nagsisinungaling din si, si uh, Mabel. Sinabi niya na matagal na kayo magkakilala. Magkatabi na kayo kanina, hindi pa kayo nag-coordinate. Hindi ko po alam. Anyway, if I remind you na misan sinamahan mo si Yoli papuntang Baguio, hindi ba? Using your own vehicle? No, your own. Natandaan mo ba yun, Yoli? Uh, hindi po, sir. Um, at, at, his at your expense daw? Yung pong communication na yon sila po, Ma'am Boday at si Ma'am Bansil, ang meron daw pong order na official, OB daw po, nasasamahan nila ako pupunta ng official Baguio. Official business. Yung uh, po, according po dun sa communication namin sa by cellphone. Mm -hmm. uh, OB daw po yon para po mapadagdagan nila yung GCTA kay Warden. Warden meaning? Uh, sa jail po, sa Baguio City Jail po. Ah, dahil doon siya galing? Opo. Yun sa preventive imprisonment? Yes po. So kailangan, bumiyahe kayo ng bagyo para... Sila daw po ang makikipag-usap. Kasi sir... Uh, Sinong kasama mo nagbiyahe ng bagyo? Uh, so far sir, hindi naman po natuloy yun. Hindi ah, pero natuloy sino yung dapat biyahe. yung... Hindi natuloy yun? Opo. Kasi hindi ko po maibigay yung allowances na sinasabi nila na... Kasi kailangan uh, gastos mo yung biyahe? Opo. At ano yun, uh, tawag doon, may per dime na ano, kailangan. Hindi Siyempre, ko po alam sa kanila. Eh, outside the NBP facilities. Opo, uh, nandito doon, may... naman po sa communication namin through phone na on, in uniform pa daw po silang pupunta doon. Kaya I was thinking na, OB pala, bakit kailangan ko maglabas ng allowance para sa kanila? Ano naman ang papel ni Veronica Buño? Siya si Boday. Opo. Ano naman yung kanyang naging role? Parang siya po yung nagpapalo up sa akin kung yung payment po, yung pera. Siya po ang nakikipag-communicate sa akin. According daw po doon sa instruction ni Sir Chito sa kanya. Yung pangalawang 20,000 at yung pangatlong 20,000, saan mo naman niya buto at saka kanino? The same person po kay Ma'am Bansil po, yung two times na 20,000. Yung, yung 10,000 po is direct po kay Sir Chito oh. sa bahay niya. Oh, namin naman niya yun eh, okay. na natanggap niya, uh, although tinatanggihan niya. Pero after how many days, uh, Chito, how many days after how many days mo sinauli? 
Nakalimutan mo na ngayon. After how many days? Mga 4 to 5 days. Ha? Huh? Mga 4 to 5 days. 45 days? 4 to 5. Ah, 4 to 5 days. Five, four. Uh, saan? Mas sina uli? Sa... Na, Na-meet ko sila, sir. Sa ano, sir? Ah, oh, Your Honor. Sa... Nasa lubong ko sila. Sa loob Somewhere, ng... somewhere in... Sa... Sa street. Na, Nagsalubong uh, lang kayo, sina uli mo? Yes, Your Honor. Kasi yun nga ba chance ko... Ano chance na sa lubong o talaga sinadya mo sa lubongin? No, y- chance ko po. Dahil nga na ano ko na hinahanap. Lagi mong dala yung envelope na may lamang pera. Na, eh, kung matay mo... Na matay... siyempre nasa lubong mo, sina uli mo? <laughs> yes. Yun po ang bala ko talaga. Ting, kung makikita ko talaga sila, eh, yeah, ano ko sa kanya. Hindi. Okay. <laughs> Hiningan pa kayo. Sina uli ba o? <laughs> Hindi po, sir. So, wala yung nagsalubong kayo? Kasi wala alam mo, po. Chito, ganito, no? Kung isa sa uli mo, madali namang hanapin. Alam mo, magkapit ba? Inamin mo na ngayon na alam mo, magkapit bahay kayo. Ano ba yung maglakad ka ng ilang steps, pumunta sa bahay niya, at isa uli mo, paresibuhan mo pa. Di ba Pero, dapat ganon? Your Honor, makakapag, uh, makakapag ano po ako ng witness na... Hindi na yung witness, yung human, the normal human behavior. Kung wala kang intensyon na tanggapin, dapat hindi mo tinanggap at beyond that, dapat inaresto mo for bribing you. Di ba? But you accepted, tao sinahanap po siya para isole after four to five days. At saka chance, by chance, nagkasalubong kayo, biglang sinauli mo. Eh pag pag-aaralan namin ng komite, o maski sinong investigador, yung testimonya mo, mukhang... Mukhang hindi pa kapanipaniwala. It's, it defies logic to tell you very honestly. Parang hindi logical yung sinasabi mo, yung takbo ng mga pangyayari. So, I, I suppose uh, there's always a time for, you know, compunction. Para bang ito yung pagkakataon mo na medyo baguhin mo na yung... Kasi you've lied to us. And if you continue lying, we'll not stop bombarding you with questions until lalo magkabuhol-buhol yung statements mo. Because sabi ko nga, maski sa korte, and the lawyers know this, maski expert ka pang magsinungaling, at one point, malalaman at malalaman na kasinungalingan na sinabi. Ay, mahirap tandaan ang kasinungalingan. Ang madaling tandaan, katotohanan. Memorahin mo yung kasinungalingan, after one year, makakalimutan mo. Unless nalagay mo doon sa notes ng iPhone mo. You, would, would you like to add something, Mr. Evangelista? Wala na? Uh, Your Honor, uh, uh, sana magkaroon nga ng full-blown investigation dito, especially yung mga... Uh, Makita naman natin sa picture yung proliferation ng illegal drugs even to the extent yung girlfriend na bibigyan ng bahay, millions, nakakapunta sa Korea for the uh, reconstruction ano, nung, ano, ng skull reconstruction. So saan po nang gagaling? When, when PDLs post on P- Facebook ano, tsaka ibang mga social media uh, outlets pa, what does that tell you? Ang uh, yung ano no ako uh, alam sir hubris again you're hubris on. they're so confident na maski may makakita nagpo sila wala mangyayari sa kanila yes oo oh para Kasi bang yung picture mismo nila eh okay. sa ano magpo sila ng ibang pictures na they can even de- they can still deny na hindi ako yan hindi ako nagpost niyan pero these are their their pictures no yun din kay Senate President ganun din nagpe Facebook at kinukuwento kung paano nare-release yung mga mga prisoners, kung magkano ang bayaran, naiinggit kasi nasa loob pa siya. You know, this would indicate overconfidence that they're protected inside and no matter what they do, they're protected. Di ba? Ganun, ganun lang kasimple yung mag, ang uh, takbo ng isip kung logical ka mag-isip. Kasi otherwise, Tatago mo yung cellphone mo. Pero pag, para mag, mag-post ka sa Facebook, eh alam mo na yung Facebook, di ba? Friends of friends, 
maski sino pwede makakita. So, hindi sila nag-aalala na, oh, baka mabuko may cellphone ako. With the permission of Senator Laksa, just some follow-up question, sir. Obviously, the one who posted this is the woman, May something. Uh, that's correct. Siya, no, Your Honor. Pero, saan kinuha ito? Sa loob ng preso? Yes, because uh, the photo shows that uh, no, uh, uh, Raymond Dominguez is wearing a prison t-shirt. That's a prison t-shirt, yeah. Because, so, uh, ibig sabihin, nasa loob sila ng preso, nakakapaglusot ng cellphone. That is correct. That is the point. That I is the make. point. So, nakakalusot sila ng cellphone sa preso. So, hindi talaga sobrang higpit, ano, Mr. He, Bibo. Sobrang higpit ka mo, eh. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Sobrang higpit, nakakuha. Uh, 